What's going on, people? Switch Brew here. And finally, we are back after an a long waited two weeks. Now, basically, before I start this video, I'd like to apologize. Currently, I'm full of cold, or in the UK, we like to call it man flu, so I might sound a bit funny when I'm talking. So, what I'm going to do is quickly explain what happened and why I haven't been uploading. So, not last week, sorry, not this week, but last week I were up in Scotland, Monday to Friday, so I couldn't upload a YouTube video. I got back on the Friday and had a YouTube video ready to upload. I went to upload the following video and basically was told by YouTube that I'd been banned from uploading for a week. So I went over to YouTube Studio to manage my YouTube channel and when checking basically a video had been removed and I had received a copyright strike so I couldn't upload any videos for a week. So basically that's long story short we're back i'm gonna teach you today basically how to set a custom background in hecate so the first thing you want to do on your computer is or I re what i recommend doing is heading over to here going into your file explorer going to view go to show and tick the box what says file name extensions this just makes it a bit easier when you come into rename stuff like images and everything and you can see obviously the inst uh, the extension of the image sorry so for example there's a png image there so you can see the dot png if it were a jpeg image you could see dot jpeg file extensions just make it a bit easier when you come to renaming files so yeah i basically recommend turning that on so the next thing you'll need to do is you'll need to either grab an image that you want to set as a background or you'll need to make an image if you're making an image i use a program called photoshop but there's obviously free software out there such as like gimp and other software but basically when you're creating an image what i like to do is obviously if i go to file new these are the settings that you'll need so the width is 1280 the height is 720 and i have the resolution set to 72 pixels slash inch um and basically that that's what size you will need to make your image so if I close out of this now as you can see here I've already made an image so what I'm going to do is open that up and as you can see this is the following Hecate background that I've made I've saved this as a PNG for now however we will be converting this to a .bmp file which is a bitmap but I use a website to do this and basically it needs to be a bitmap, bitmap image uh, for some reason when I save it in photoshop as a bitmap with 32 dpi for some reason it doesn't seem to work so i always use this online converter which i'm about to show you to convert the image to a bitmap file so what you want to do like i say is get an image that you want it needs to be 1280 by 720 it can be anything or something off google or whatever you want or you can obviously like i say make it yourself so what i'm going to do now is head over to google and this is the website that i use i'll put the following website down in the video description for you guys so you can convert whatever you like so first things first what you want to do is when you're on this website is go over to the color section and change this to 30 32 sorry true color rgba so you want to go ahead and click on that you then want to go ahead and add your image file so i'm just going to add that image file from my desktop and what it's going to do is it's going to upload it to the following website and go ahead and convert it for you guys once it's done you can go ahead and download it so i'm going to download this now save it to my desktop and click save then what you want to do is come away from this website and head over to your desktop or wherever you've saved the image to and what you'll need to do is rename this so as i said earlier if you go into the view section in file explorer and enable um, file extension names this makes it easier for renaming so what i'm going to do is go ahead and rename the following file so if i go to show more options and click rename what you're going to want to call this is background.bmp now i believe it must be called this or your nintendo switch won't pick it up so you want to rename the file to background.bmp once you've done that that's pretty much ready to go so what you want to do is hook up your switch to your computer or plug in your micro sd card so i'm going to go ahead and do that now and once you've mounted your sd card it should pop up on or on your computer if it doesn't just go over to file explorer and obviously enter the root of your micro sd card so the following file it will need to be placed in the bootloader folder and in res which stands for resources so what i'm going to do is go ahead and drag that file in 
once that once you've dragged that file in guys that's pretty much it you're done so then what you'll want to do is you'll want to either plug your sd card back into your switch or disconnect the usb cable and you'll want to if you're in hecate like i am now i was in hecate and i had the sd card sd card mounted via hecate what you want to do is you'll want to basically reboot the console and then boot back into hecate and the changes should happen and you should now see your background so what i'm going to do is i'm going to reboot my switch and then i'm going to switch over onto my phone camera and show you guys the new background that's been applied so i'll see you on the uh, switch guys peace so guys as you can see we're now on the nintendo switch console and basically i'm in hecate right now i haven't rebooted the console as of yet because i wanted to show you guys what obviously hecate looks like without a custom background so if i go ahead and click the reload button and click reload and once it loads back up as you can see guys the custom background which was on my computer and what we transferred over to the nintendo switch console has now been applied on hecate so yeah guys this ain't a massive video to be honest it's a pretty easy job to do and that's just how to set a background in hecate so i'd like to thank you guys for watching the video and thanks for bearing with me while i've been banned off youtube and i'll see you in the next video peace